For broad stroke planning, it's recommended to use the timeline view when planning for a new project. If there are many projects in the list, it's useful to apply filters to only see our new project. The most important thing to keep track of is when the project is expected to be completed and delivered. We do this by using milestones. We can add as many milestones as we like, but it's good practice to reserve it for the most essential dates. When milestones are in place, we're going to create the phases of the project as events. The phases can be as granular as you like. If possible, it's great if they can be similar to task types or certain departments as that will allow F-Track to show better summaries across projects. For this project, we're going to have four different phases. Modeling, rigging, animation and compositing. These phases can be customized to anything that's relevant to your project. For example, previs, motion graphics, game asset production, website design, anything. These could equally be something more generic, like pre-production and post-production for a simpler project. We give the phase a name and a type. Then we're going to give it an estimate. Because we broke down the project into phases, we know we're going to spend 12 days in compositing. The estimate is the total number of person days that will be required to complete all compositing on our project. Providing an estimate will give us guidance in how many users we need to complete the phase based on the length of the phase. We also have the option to set the effort to restrict users from working full time on this phase. If all projects are planned with accurate estimates, that will allow us to see a forecast of how many users we need on a daily basis to complete the project compared to how many users are available at our studio. Generating a good forecast is easier if the phases are simpler to associate by type and grouped by a department. For example, compositing phases and the compositing department are related, so it will make for simple forecasting. Forecasting will be covered in more detail in a later video, so look out for that if you're looking to dive deeper into forecasting in F-Track. If we already know who will be working on this project and phase, we can book them now to make sure that our colleagues who are planning other projects can see it and avoid double booking a user. From the user's timeline, we can now see that the user has been booked on our project and phase. If we don't know who will be working on our project, we'll just leave the phases empty. This is when estimates become useful, as that means we still know how many animators we need during that phase, we just haven't hired them yet. 